All right, I started on my new Vought, and I used my old um, Vought uh, parts to experiment and try to come up with uh, something that would spin a little faster than the old model. So I went with the three-wing configuration, and uh, this is how I made the blades. The blades are different than my old style. The old styles were flat. These actually have a, uh, a taper to them. I tapered the back about five degrees into a point and then on the front edge what I did was I I trimmed off a 45 on each corner and then rounded it over with a sander and what that did that gave me a, a rounded front nose and then a, uh, a back that was pointed at sanded everything very well um, and also sanded the uh, the parts that I cut off and here's my uh, my first prototype this is how I raise and lower my uh, mast for the uh, wind generator. I have two 5 8 inch uh, wedge anchors in this uh, concrete uh, wall here and I just hinge it off the bottom one. I can slide it off to the side, hinge it down, it makes it easy to uh, to change out the generator or to, to experiment. First one, the, wind, the wings were a little uh, small and it didn't spin too well. And then what I did, I added uh, some boards on it to to, to increase the um, area. This this worked better. Again, I think they're too short uh, and still a little too small, uh, but it gave me an idea of, uh, of where I need to go. This was my old uh, generator I had on here, and I was just using the bottom set of magnets, um, and I was getting 3.5 volts. Still, it wasn't spinning very fast, so that that's the main reason that. Uh, that I didn't get the volts up. All right, this is the design I went with. I went with a rim kick three wing design. I uh, laid it out on a piece of uh, half inch plywood and cut it out with my jigsaw. Here it is finished. I sanded it and then the angle I ended up going with was seven degrees off the center. So each blade is gonna be uh, angled out seven degrees. All right, here are my three wings. They are four feet by eight inches wide. And these are all my pieces cut out and ready to assemble. I ended up making the uh, hub assembly like an I-beam. And I sandwiched the two together. I glued and, uh, and nailed these uh, together to make them strong and, and rigid. Alright, here it is all uh, finished up. I uh, At the ends, I ended up putting in studs, two studs. Uh, this will be to hold the wings. Alright, this is how I set my saw to uh, cut the angles the uh, for the tail of the wings. And I cut on each side to make a V. And that gave me my angle on the back of these uh, wings. And then on the front, what I did was I cut 45 degree angles just a little bit off of uh, each side and then used a sander to uh, round over the front to make a nice uh, round nose on these wings. I cut 3 inch PVC in half and this is how I made the uh, arms for the hub assembly to be more aerodynamic and I cut them and, uh, and fit them on the uh, front edge, leading edge. And this is what it looks like. This is how I designed the uh, bearing holder. I found an uh, inch and a half pipe. These bearings uh, fit perfectly in there and press into place. So I pressed two into this uh, T fitting and this is the, uh, the layout I have for the pipe for the mounting bracket. And here it is mounted onto the center uh, hub assembly. And I used uh, lock nuts to keep everything in place. And I got it up on the pole and was testing it out. It did pretty good. I had used on my last wind generator the fiberglass resin. And the problem with that was it cracked when the wings flexed and allow the water to get in. So this time I'm using a uh, spar varnish uh, that has UV protector designed for a wood outside 
And so I stained, first stained, and then I used this uh, spar varnish on all the wood pieces. I also uh, used a clear silicone on all the seams and on the edges of the plywood to make sure that uh, there were no holes or anything that water could get into. So I did this all the way around the hub assembly. Alright, here's the uh, PVC installed on the leading edge of the hub assemblies to help make it more aerodynamic and uh, everything's ready for the uh, test fly in here and this thing really flies this is uh, it's easily in the same wind conditions double the speed as my uh, of my other one so uh, my next project is going to be making the uh, generator I'll have a video up soon